Okay, so one thing I know a lot of people out there in the SolidWorks world want to know, and what I wanted to know for a long time, was how to create a very good looking thread for your drawing files. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today in this video. I've already drawn a cylinder rod with a diameter of two and a quarter inches a thread that's going to be 1.75 inches long and 1.75 inches in diameter with a 12 thread per inch pitch. I've also given it a quarter inch thread relief. It's just three simple extrudes. So, now we're going to create our thread. The first thing you want to do is create your sketch that is actually going to be like the tool cutting the metal or plastic, whatever it be. So, we're going to select a sketch that is perpendicular to the rod. You want the very bottom of your thread to be even with your thread relief. So, you can create a line bring it straight down from your thread relief. That gives you the bottom tip of your thread. And then it's going to max out, obviously, at the outside diameter of the thread. Now we're actually going to create the triangle that's going to be the cutting tool. Since we have 12 threads per inch, right now we're drawing half of the triangle. So we're going to have 1 divided by 24, which is half of the 12 threads per inch. And then, if you'll notice, I'm going to take off 5 thousandths extra. If you don't take off at least a millionth of an inch, a thousandth of an inch, it'll give you a zero thickness geometry whenever you have your helix and it uh, cuts around it'll act like it's running into itself and it won't let it complete. Now, as you can see, that's exactly half of the triangle. If you create construction geometry with the middle line, you'll be able to select all those, mirror it, and you have your full triangle, which is going to be your thread. That sketch is complete. Now, you want to make your helix for the tool path to follow. Select the plane on the end. Sketch it. You can do one of two things. You can create a circle, the exact outside diameter, or you can just select it, do convert entities, and it'll automatically give you that circle. Now we've got that, close the sketch, select the sketch, and select your helix. I already had it set up in the past, so it's already ready, but in order to set this up, since you have your pitch, the 12 threads per inch, you want to do 1 divided by 12, which is 0.08333333. You want your revolutions to be starting here you want it to be enough that it's going to go all the way down to your thread relief which is going to be about 22. Now that that's finished you can close out your helix and as you can see it's there ready to go. Now you have your sketch ready to follow the helix. Now if you select control and click both of those you can select the swept cut which will actually be like your tool following that path. Finish it. There you go. Sometimes you might have this little bit left over that looks like it's not totally cut everything off. You can go back to your helix, edit the feature, and put your start angle at zero. And that will make it just like the tool entered the part.
you can experiment around with this. You can do different thread diameters, different pitches. You can make any thread you want with these simple steps. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something.